All right, hello everyone on the YouTube side. We are watching or playing Pokemon Black 2 once again. Yes. Let us fight once more. Yeah, I should have thought about putting Ferrocede out sooner. Oh, heat more. Yeah. Ah, my head. Ow, what just happened? Ah. I need a second. Okay. Uh. Well. No. Oh. Wait, you're gonna take my lucky egg. I don't really have an answer to heat more. Oh yeah, good. That is a fair point. Stadiums in Nimbasa. I know about the stadiums. It might be worth going back there for an episode after this one, just to grind a little bit. I'm surprised, though, I'm able to take on this heat more currently, because I expected it to use a bunch of fire-type moves. Yeah. Well, the, the thing is, I don't want to grind too much between streams because I need to, uh... I don't want anything to evolve outside of stream. But I want to try and keep my team relatively close. We'll probably not do that. team being as far from... Let's see. How far is Joltik from... 36, and then X2 is... gonna be 38. So, currently, I can really only limit up to 36. Ideas like Team Plasma is good for their ideas and their ideals. Just weird to see people complain about them while also saying, hey, we wouldn't be able to get anything done without Pokemon. More like they're tools than they are friends. That's kind of the cohesive evolution. Cooperative evolution, I guess we could. Oh, hey, there's there. Hey, guitar guy. Oh, he added more to the thing. There we go. What we got? There's also the fact stopping short of evolution levels, again, just kind of hurts what I'm trying to do. Like, I'm not going to pull things out of the box to level them to an... Some. Yeah. Yeah. 
It's, it's just kind of the process I'm going through. Like, I'm only really ever concerned about my current team. Why does Clink not have any special defense? Everyone's paralyzed, apparently. Yeah, but what about electric types? Why does the electric type take so much damage from one electric move? There we go. Alright, we're down to Alakid and Electabuzz. And they're screwed to level 35. Synthesis. I think I'll... I think I'll keep the old moves. I'm trying to make that decision. pretty weak, but it went better than expected. Aside from the two Pokémon that are fighting, having super high... or being paralyzed. Yeah, it does look like the Elect Kid line doesn't have very high special defenses. And of six. set myself up for that. Let me guess, this is a rotation battle? Oh, it's just the Magby variant, which I'm not prepared for particularly well. Yeah. That was bound to happen, yep. Ow. Probably should have put you on the other side. That's likely, yep, one shot. You're asleep, which is nice. Axu's gonna end up with a lot of experience from this fight. 
Come on, give me another crit. Nope. Magmar fast asleep. I can be fire punched. That was not bad. It wasn't great, but not bad. Oh, it takes me all the way back to the last center. It is not terribly far. Yeah. Buy some potions. Have the money into that. And the rest into these. That, again, didn't do terribly bad. I just kind of was back footing for a while. take on again because I thought I was going to do much worse in the uh, El Elekid fight let's go take on this basketball player once more Hipster Nicholas. So now Magmi, Magmar, and Magby. Oh, I know I'm gonna start pretty weak here. Yep, Magmar is gonna probably one-shot Pharisee. And both of the Magbees are Focus Fire and Clink. So that was just bound to happen. of a given. I can accept that. Flash fire. But it doesn't necessarily help me. Pick like level 35. Now if I can slow them down... Right, that's probably a one-shot, too. <sighs> yeah. This might work. Ooh, Confuse Ray. That's not as fun. Sunny Day, that is also not as fun.
Oh, that took a minute. I probably should have had Litwick aim for Magmar. I'm used to seeing stuff like that happen almost immediately. Okay, so Hex, good. And then it should auto center us. Okay, I came out with a win. Not a clean win, but a win all the same. There we go. Alright. Let's go heal up again. <laughs> We're getting somewhere. Play Pokemon doesn't seem to use XCOM odds. It's always weird because sometimes it feels like it has those really awkward odds. Ow, fingers. And energetic. If you get tired, please. Yes, thank you. Yeah. Like, I'd like to get to the point where going and training out there would be the best thing I could do. Everyone's very close to their next level. Hi. Okay, fine. I'll wait for you to come back around. And battle whatever this is. A gold duck. Okay. Oh no. You really messed yourself up there. I forgot that was a thing. This is a very unlucky Golduck. Or an unintelligent Golduck. Trash guy, how are you? Oh. Oh, we're adding music to the whole thing. This. Hi. Okay. Strange. And a blue shard. I, what do I- I trade the shards for, to move tutors, right? Oh yeah, and add to the content. Yeah, that is actually the bit Pharisee build that I had for 
the first, like, not even the first time. I was building a semi-competitive team, and I, yeah, and I built a Pharisee that did the Rocky Helmet, Toxic, Absorb, Leech Seed, Giga Drain, just kind of keep yourself alive while also doing a lot of damage and healing for more, and just burning things to the ground. All right, kid. I yeah. <laughs> oh, hey, the viper. That is a good point. Like I'm mostly right now ex doing the experience ideal, like the ideal experience build. So everyone out front gets the, uh, like most of those strategies I'll worry about when we get to a gym that I'm having trouble with. That would definitely help. Because I imagine, for the sake of it, he is... What does Eevee Light do again? <laughs> yeah, Eevee... Eviolite is a defensive buff, right? Yeah. Raises defense and special defense by 50%? Yeah, that is actually pretty nice and probably be move. Actually, since Litwick is the highest. That would help, yeah. Just to have on someone. Preventative evolution. Right. I'm just going to give things Pokemon that might benefit in a weird way. That'll work for now. Alright, kid. Let's go! Ghoster Carl. So now Sand Slash. All right. Now this is a village just full of Sword Slash. There might be. It might be in that chef's area, right? I also still feel like it would be an interesting thing if they ever, oh, took and decided to do, um, what is it? Took and decided to let you equip a Pokemon with two items, just because everyone would get the, the power to use two items, and I feel like it would be an interesting change to how the game worked. 
Or like have a berry item and a regular item. Just so you can have some other, like, you can have... It definitely would. But like, if you did with a berry item and a regular item, your Mega Evolution Stone would be your regular item, whereas you would have something, a berry, as your other. That's not bad. already have a left. We're gonna go revive or heal again. I'll have to come back by through here just to get the under the bridge stuff done. To route 11, which has... yeah, there we go. Honiard, Vullaby. That looks to be it for the... for now. Yep, Honiard, white, black and white too. Uh, hmm. Black and white too does not have those. Yeah, some berries are competitive caliber items. Essentially, the point is to throw everything into chaos. I guess to make the changes that toss a lot of things out the window and build a bunch of things back as well. You could even technically, I, th like I would even say in your normal item slot you could double berry. Which I feel like would be interesting to a bunch of people. Magnolia. Hello. And hello to your Emolga. Interesting enough. I imagine you are eventually going to Volt Switch or something of that nature. Oh, acrobatics. Even worse. Let's go. Hey, it's a flying type move. People do tend to con That's the thing though, if you turn if you throw it into chaos right now, it will eventually become consistent is the thing. Like you throw the you throw the community into chaos, and essentially a new type of meta emerges. That's that's the mentality I'm having with it. What did I do? Slash. Like it's not necessarily making the game seem like chaos. It's more to the fact that you throw the meta into chaos, change something huge, which is what happened with like Mega Evolutions and the dynamic things and the Z moves, and see how people decide to play it. Uh, 
That's the kind of chaos that I mean. Hey, Joltik evolves. Uh, as long as I can win. Which I guess Altaria... Hmm. Yeah, that's what I expected first turn. Darn it all. Uh, Clink, sure. Uh, of course. I mean, it's per it is perfectly fair. Even just having ban lists makes certain things work. This. Because I'm just going to keep being paralyzed anyways. people to make this work just so I can get that evolution handled oh you gotta be kidding me Okay, I think this has me. And there we go, Altaria taken down. And Fungus leveled up too. Yeah. I'm not worried about the attacks, I was mostly worried about trying to get that poison on. I didn't expect it to use refresh. And I have a Galvantula. I believe that's going to be last episode for today. Because I just needed enough damage to make that Altaria die. I do just need to go back to a Pokemon Center this time. To stow away Gavantula and bring out. I've decided I'm gonna probably start using some of my lesser evolved Pokemon. Because I think they're going to be a bit tankier than fully unevolved. Which that. Technically, mean. I'm gonna just grab all of these Pokemon, shift them here.
And this will be the order things get touched in. Moving forward. Because I just feel like Oh, Swadloon is friendship. Yeah, that'll probably be a thing. Yeah, that'll probably be... These two get to sit down alone. And Cottony requires a stone. So those are special cases. But yeah. This will be how things go from here forward. Which means... Wait, let's go to individual Pokémon now. Box 2 is occupied in that way. There we go. There we are. <sighs> I don't have anything else mixed up, do I? That needs, like, anything that needs a stone or anything that I'm thinking doesn't. Which, Servine is going to evolve pretty quickly, to be honest. But that is the end of today. So guys, on both the YouTube and the Twitch side, please, I, I, saying, please stay safe, have a nice day, and we will see you in, oh wait, uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. And I have noted that I need to name a Bolt Vullaby Baba Yaga. Save. There we go. Thank you for waiting. See you again. And we save the game. With an interesting team lineup currently. Again. See you later, guys.